y'all i'm excited about this mug <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry I look real tacky today, but you know what? As a business owner, a mama, um, working my nine to five, sometimes getting up to get ready to look cute for my videos is just extra time taken away from what is most important. So today, if you hear noise in the background, it's because my daughter is on her tablet. She has been fascinated with Superman, Spider-Man, for the past like month and a half like that's all she's talking about so she's playing her little superman spider-man whatever that game is okay um so anyways <laughs> today i am going to show you guys or do a vlog on a top that i am creating so i have a pop-up shop coming up on the 29th of January in Memphis, Tennessee. And I wanted to create a cute top for the outfit that I'm putting together, y'all. So make sure you go on over to my Instagram at Cardi's Boutique. Follow me, I follow back. Um, and then y'all can see my outfit, you know, when I get it together, cause I'm gonna be cute, I'm gonna be cute, I'm gonna be cute. <laughs> so today, this is the fabric that I'm working with. It is super cute. It is basically fur. Um, I got this fabric from Joann's. The fabric was on sale for 30% off and I only got one yard of this. So hopefully, um, maybe I can make two outfits out of it because I'm using a lining for this, um, outfit too. Look what I found. This is a black satin material and honestly, I feel like it is enough to make the lining for my top. So this top here is a top that's actually a part of my um, online boutique, one of the tops that I sell and it's super, super cute. So I actually want to make a fur top similar to this, but without this. So I'm going to use this top to draft up a pattern for the top that I'm making today. Um, I'm going to do it without the mock neck collar although that might be actually cute but i'm gonna do it without the mock neck collar um i honestly just like how open the sleeves are and just the cut of the top so i'm gonna use this as a base to draw my pattern today say hey <laughs> say hey so this is my baby she got a little runny nose she just got out the bathtub and got her hair washed <laughs>
Okay, y'all. So this here is the pattern that I dressed it up. Um, it's not quite finished yet, but I just wanted to explain. So I actually just drew around the top. Um, I created the front slope for the front bodice. And then this here is the back pattern for the back of the top. And so I'm going to use this for the fur fabric front and back bodies. I'm also going to use the same pattern for the lining front and back bodies. So what I'm going to do next is basically use a different color. And I am going to mark um, a seam allowance around this entire pattern um, for the lining. I'm only going to put seam allowance on the lining um, because I am going to serge the edges and then basically stitch the lining to the um fur vest inside out so it can have basically a cleaner look i'll go in more detail as i'm creating the garment my back pieces together my back pieces um this is where the zipper is gonna go right here you're gonna put these two together and then this is my front piece i was supposed to cut this on a fold so it can be one flesh piece but i made the mistake and went ahead and just cut this side so what i'm going to do is basically do a straight stitch on the side here just so this piece can be one whole piece when you open it up so the next thing that i'm going to do like i said i'm gonna do a straight stitch here on the front bodice piece but then i'm also i'm going to serge the edges of all of these pieces down i'm going to serge every edge of both of these pieces hey y'all so now i am about to cut out the back and front bodice pieces of the fur and i am going to remove my seam allowance that we outlined on the pattern piece
Okay, y'all, so Bubbles just woke up and she is in the bathroom hollering because she doesn't want to sit and use the bathroom and I can't get her to stop crying. So excuse the hollering in the background. Okay, but so I have all my pattern pieces cut out. This is the lining and this is the fur. And so what I'm going to do is sew my side seams together and the top seams together on both pieces and then i'm going to attach the lining to the fur Okay, y'all, so we got through, I just got through sewing the side seam and the shoulder seam together on both the fabric lining and then the actual fur vest. Usually I would serge the sides, but I didn't do it because I didn't want to mess up my serging machine. It was kind of thick, but what I did was double stitch the size of the fabric just to give it ex extra security and tightness. So basically when I mean double stitch, I, that means I just stitched it on top um, twice. So the next thing that we are going to do is sew the fabric lining to the fur of the jacket or shirt top whatever <laughs> so what we are going to do is focus on the armhole and the neckline right now so with the fabric we're going to put the fabric right sides together so the fur and then the shiny side of the lining whichever side your lining is the right side of your lining just make sure you put the right sides together and then I'm going to pin my armhole 360 and basically stitch it and double stitch it around the armhole. Before I had black millionaires, I had a brand called Millennial Mistakes, right? And remember I told y'all. Okay, y'all, uh, excuse bubs in the background, but uh, okay. So I know in the last clip I ended up showing you guys that all you had to do was flip. What's help? <laughs> <laughs> the last thank you um the last snippet that i showed y'all i know i only showed you that you had to basically sew the sleeves together putting the right sides together well that was a mistake halfway it only works on one side of the sleeve so putting the right sides together on one side of the sleeve gave the effect that we needed you see how it has a clean smooth edge all the way around well on this side it didn't work and i had to seam rip it all the way out so basically what i'm doing now is that i have the wrong size together and then i had to flip the jacket back inside out so the jacket is almost twisted 
So now I am going to stitch 360 around. And you have the arm sleeve here, well, the lining here, and then you have the um, fur here. So it looks basically like this. Okay, y'all. Y'all see how twisty my jacket is? So I just got done stitching it all the way around 360. I double stitched it for extra protection. And now I just need to flip it. Honestly, I really want to top stitch this flat, but I don't want to put a stitch in the fur, so I'm not. So this is what we have now. The sides are completely sewn together where the armholes are. What's up, y'all? So it is day two. Okay, I just woke up, like, woke up and literally came straight over here to the camera, like, <laughs> I'm just so excited about this, this out, this top, y'all. So, okay, um, the next step that we are going to do, okay, this is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, what I'm doing to this jacket, what I want to do is basically have clean seams, 360 around the top so i don't want to see any type of like raw edge surged edge nothing so like i was showing y'all before how it just looks clean on the inside like you just don't see any type of like um stitching um you don't see any type of surged edge which is still fine a lot of garments are like that but i just feel like for good quality high quality if stuff is sewn well it don't look like that it looks like this so i want every edge of my top to look like this and i also want to hide my zipper inside so i don't want when you open up the jacket i want my zipper to look like this flushed against the zipper i don't want it to look like this so say if you open the jacket then you can see the zipper on the inside i think that is so tacky i mean it's not tacky but i just i'm trying to grow as a designer i'm trying to grow as a seamstress so i feel like um how i want things to look in all my garments this is that so right now y'all i am going to play trial and error because i tried to google and like if you guys don't know like i took sewing classes but I'm also self-taught. Like, this is me self-teaching myself how to do certain things. So, I tried to Google, like, ways, like, how to make a bomber jacket, um, how to enclose a invisible zipper, just all of these different things. And I could not find a video showing me how to sew an inseam on the collar, on the bottom and enclose the zipper now a lot of jackets when they make bomber jackets they have additional piece on the collar which makes it easier for you to enclose the zipper and then you can take the collar and cover the zipper at the top or you can do the same thing if you're attaching like a cuff a small cuff to the bottom of like a jacket or something but i don't have an additional collar and i also don't have um another cuff at the bottom so i need to find a way to try to get this all enclosed so what are we gonna do right now when I, the next step that i am going to do and y'all i i know i was probably trying to show y'all how i made this jacket which i am but like this is a vlog okay this is an experience that i'm sharing with y'all <laughs> so the next step that i think i am going to do is um we're gonna sew the top part of this top together so basically what i need to do is flip my jacket so that it is right sides together and then i am going to pin it from right to left and then I'm going to stitch it down.
step is going to be the bottom of the top okay. so i basically flipped it outside in bubbles bubbles can you stop beating please let me be quiet if i can record okay <laughs> there she go okay so basically i turned it outside in so flipped it basically the opposite direction looking like a hot dog kind of like i just folded it up like a little taco okay and i put the right sides of the bottom together and pinned it all the way down so i'm gonna stitch it double stitch it at the bottom and then i'm gonna flip it back the right direction when i'm done mm, 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 mm. okay y'all so it is today is day three of me sewing this this top together i would have been done yesterday but i decided to take my black butt to sleep because i was tired tired so i just got done stitching the bottom of the top together like i showed y'all in the previous clip i double stitched it um i don't search this because i feel like it is too bulky i mean i'm pretty sure i can i just don't want to risk it and mess up my surgery machine and i think it's bulky so i don't search the fur and i think it look real tacky if you do but i just double stitch the line um you can also do like a zigzag stitch too um if you, if you want it to create more security but honestly if you double stitch it it should be fine of the top because it has the zipper this is the front side of it so we have the armhole done the top neckline is done second armhole the bottom y'all is done look at it it looks super just neat because everything is sewn on the inside of the garment and y'all honestly this is the first time that i've ever sewn something um like this but honestly i feel like it just looks so much better like the quality of it looks so much better so when i put it on excuse my wrinkles that came from bubbles so when i put it on it's gonna fit like this um i have a long black pencil um not a pencil skirt but a long black like leather skirt that i'm gonna rock with this um and then the back is gonna have the zipper but it's gonna be cute okay so let's get to the next step the next step is going to be the zipper this here is my zipper this is the right side of the zipper and we want the right side of the zipper to be on the back side like this. So I think what I'm going to do is sew the lining to the zipper. And then I might use my good old E60, 800, 360, E60, whatever the name of that glue is on top and just glue down the fur on top. I'm going to sew the back of the lining and when i say the back of the lining i honestly mean if you just open up the top to the back side this side right here i am going to take the zipper and this is the back of the zipper and i'm going to pin it from where the lining starts all the way up
Uh, what's up, y'all? Let me see if I can readjust this. <sighs> Guys, I have stitched the zipper on both sides of my jacket. So when I flip it in that side, it has a very clean from the top, sleek look bam okay bam so what we're going to do next is the final step of the jacket and i'm so excited this side i went ahead and already did so basically i pinned the fur down all the way down and what i want to do is I'm going to use E6000 glue. This is the best glue known to me. But be careful when you use this because it definitely comes out of this super fast. And um, sometimes it seeps through. So you just need to use a little bit at a time. Be patient while you're using it. And what I'm going to do is put some of the E. 60 glue on this part of the zipper tab right here right and then i'm going to take the fur and basically glue it down i'm gonna show y'all how as i do this but i just wanted to explain it first and basically i'm gonna take it all the way down and glue it down and then i'm gonna also hand stitch it close i have some brown i also have some clear thread and i'm gonna just hand stitching on all the way down um you can as another option top stitch this edge right here but since this is fur honestly i don't want to top stitch it because i don't want to mess up the fur so i'm going to do the glue and i'm also going to hand stitch it all the way down and then once we do that like we're gonna be done with this look y'all i'm so happy i'm so happy about it so how I'm going to wear it is like this and then I'm going to zip it up in the back. Zip, 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 this y'all I'm actually going to put in my collection for Kansas City Fashion Week Fall 2022. Okay, I am going to just do it. I'm going to enroll, I'm going to apply, and I'm going to do it. Y'all, this is my vision board back here. This right here is my vision board. I have all my designs like... And I'm going to make everything on that board plus some. So I think three, six, nine. It's 10 outfits on that board. This is going to be 11. So I would have 11 outfits in my collection. Minimum 11 outfits. And I'm just so excited, y'all. Like, this is my year. Like, my year. <laughs> I'm not better than anyone, I just don't have to accept anything. I'm not better than anyone, I just don't have to settle, I just don't have to put myself on clearance so that you can still access Nini from who I used to be. No, I don't have to do that anymore. I love you and she's still down in me, but I have grown. And if you cannot accept my growth, then there's not even room for me. If I have to shrink to stay connected to you, then you need to grow up or we need to let this thing go. Oh, that was too personal. But I just thought that somebody needed to know that when you grow, you gotta have people who know how to grow too, because otherwise it's gonna sever the relationship. I wish I had some growing kind of people in my life. God, I want some people who know how to grow. I know I need some people who know how to take lemons and turn them into lemonade. I need some started from the bottom. Now we here. Okay, so I just got done.
sewing hand stitching the fur to like the line of the zipper i also used that glue which i've seen in a previous clip but in some areas it was still a little bit more loose and especially at the top at the top and at the bottom i made sure i stitched that down really really good because it's thicker in those areas but i y'all like i'm so happy about I this i really jacket. appreciate y'all watching my sewing vlog if you liked it please give it a thumbs up please hit that subscribe bell follow me on instagram at cardi's boutique go check out my website at cardi's boutique.com y'all i just thank y'all and as always love and prayers